So, the Emoji Movie, a 2017 American animated comedy, though comedy might be stretching it, produced by Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures Animation, and unleashed upon the world by Sony Pictures releasing. It was directed by Tony Leondis, who apparently thought, yeah, let's take emojis, those little smiley faces you spam in texts, and make an entire movie out of them. Because clearly, Toy Story wasn't enough inspiration. Leondis teamed up with Eric Siegel and Mike White to co-write this groundbreaking script, which, let's be honest, probably came from the depths of a brainstorming session that went on a bit too long. This masterpiece, note the sarcasm, stars the voices of TJ Miller, James Corden, Anna Faris, Maya Rudolph, and for some reason, Sir Patrick Stewart. Yep, you heard that right. Patrick freaking Stewart signed up to play a talking poop emoji. Talk about a career twist. Other victims of this voice cast include Stephen Wright, Jennifer Coolidge, and even Christina Aguilera and Sofia Vergara. It's like they threw a dart board at a random list of celebrities and just rolled with it. The plot, if you can call it that, revolves around Jean, a multi-expressional emoji who lives in the digital utopia of Textopolis. Yeah, real original. This little bloke, for some reason, doesn't want to express multiple emotions. Nope. He wants to be a boring, one-expression-only emoji, just like everyone else in the world of smartphones. So, he teams up with High Five, a literal hand emoji, and Jailbreak, who, spoiler alert, turns out to be a princess because of course she does. And they embark on a thrilling adventure through apps like Candy Crush and Instagram. That's right, the film doubles as a product placement fest. It's like an hour and a half long ad for every app you've ever wanted to delete. Now, the real kicker is that the Emoji Movie was apparently fast-tracked into production in July 2015 after a bidding war. Let that sink in a bidding war over a movie about emojis. Studios were actually fighting over who would get to make this cinematic gem. They slapped it together in just two years, which is quicker than most animated films. Because who needs quality when you've got emojis, right? The movie's title was originally Emoji Movie, Express Yourself, which they wisely changed because, well, I guess that's the one thing they did right. When the marketing hit, the public's reaction was about as warm as a cold pie. The internet immediately went into roast mode, as you'd expect. But Sony kept pushing on, blissfully ignoring the growing backlash like a kangaroo hopping off a cliff. The film finally premiered on July 23rd, 2017, at the Regency Village Theatre, with probably the most awkward red carpet event in history. It hit theatres a few days later, on July 28th. And here's where things get wild. It actually made money. Yeah, it grossed over $217 million worldwide against a budget of $50 million. So, while critics were sharpening their knives, this thing was laughing all the way to the bank. But oh, the critics. They shredded it like a drop bear on a fresh eucalyptus tree. The script, trash. The humor, barely there. Product placement, off the charts. Voice acting, let's just say Patrick Stewart deserved better. And the plot? Well, it's basically the unwanted love child of Wreck-It Ralph, The Lego Movie, and Inside Out. Except all the fun and creativity had been drained out like the last bit of Vegemite. The Emoji Movie's real claim to fame came at the 38th Golden Raspberry Awards, where it bagged five nominations, winning four. Yeah, you heard me. It's the first animated film to win Razzies, which are the awards for the worst films of the year. A real achievement, right? It's frequently ranked as not only the worst film of 2017, but one of the worst animated films ever made. I mean, when your biggest competition is a talking car and a dancing penguin and you still come out looking bad? Yikes. So there you have it, the Emoji Movie. Proof that sometimes, just because you can make a movie, doesn't mean you should. Cheers for sticking around, mates. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can pretend this wasn't a colossal waste of my fucking time. What a ripper. Have a bloody good one.